What's up, people? Welcome back to Spinning Spot. The Mount Vernon Kid and the Bennett Brothers are back for our review to all those wrestling fans and heads out there that tuned in and enjoyed WWE bragging rights. Now, first and foremost, we gotta say one thing Yankees are going to the playoffs. So we're going to see, but other than that guys, you know, let's get to it. The first match on the card was The Miz versus John Morrison, which has been building up since their departure, since the brand extension. Now personally, I wouldn't expect W to do it, but for some reason, I believe and we believe that WWE really likes the Miz because let me get it straight. He gets a push for the United States Championship by beating Kofi. But on on this match was pretty okay. It was slowed down because the Miz is pretty stiff. So and he can't pick up the push like John Morrison can. Near falls, but then the ending, John Morrison goes for his starship pain, but the Miz pulls him off. And gets to one, two, three. Now, a couple of weeks ago, that just happened to John Morrison. And he kicked out. Now, all of a sudden, when the Miz does it, it's a one, two, three. So, Miz picks up the win and picks up the win for Raw, making Raw one and SmackDown zero. Yes, yes, yes. You heard right, people. Miz won. Miz beat Morrison. So, you know, by tomorrow on Raw, we're going to have to hear this from his fat ass mouth all night. The next card, which is pretty good because we were very excited. This was a good lineup, actually. and I like the way that they did this lineup. Next card, next match in the card was between the ladies of the WWE. Team McCool versus uh, Team Melina. Michelle McCool, Beth Phoenix, and Natalia versus Gail Kim, Melina, and Kelly Kelly. Now, um, this uh, Mac, this this uh, started off pretty decent as always, you know, for the divas, you know. But you know, Gail, as usual, she picked up the pace as she always does, you know. You know, Gail, she's always gonna pick it up. Um, tags, frequent tags from uh, Michelle's team, actually, which was wasn't likely to see, but a lot of blind tags, but a lot of teamwork going on between them. Um, you know, Kelly Kelly gets in and uh, she gets into some trouble. Um, fortunately, then later on, lovely Melina gets in and she picks up the pace even further. Uh, it gives her signature scream, you know, and uh, picks up the pace, no doubt about it. Beautifully countered by Melina. Definitely, we got to mention the beautiful counter she did to uh, Beth Phoenix. Um, but unfortunately, uh, in the end, uh, Glamazon is back, people. Let's put it like that. Back with a vengeance, hits her glam bomb. Slam, excuse me. <laughs> her slam and uh, picks up the win for SmackDown, which gives SmackDown a one. So it's tied 1-1 one, one now. The next match on the card was for the War Heavyweight Championship. Batista versus Rey Mysterio versus CM Punk versus Undertaker. Now, personally, we when we, this match was coming on, we personally thought that Undertaker was definitely going to be the loser because Undertaker's health is not 100%. He's having hip problems because of his surgery. Now, we thinking that Rey will win this. And be good because it shut up all the naysayers saying, oh, Ray won just because of Eddie. You can't say that if he won tonight. It's long gone. But let's get on with the match. The match started off with Punk throwing his shirt at Batista and hit Ray and ran out the ring. And as the, basically the match started with everybody ganging up on Punk. He's the only heel the match, so what you going to do? Then it was Batista but and Artek renewing their rivalry, which was good to see. And we saw Ray and Batista working together, which you knew we were going to see. Batista made all the um, pin breaks. He was breaking almost all the pins. 
And then we seen the GTS that got broken up. We seen the Batista bomb or Undertaker. We seen Last Rides, Hell Gates, Six One Nines. But then, like always, Batista went for the pin. And Ray broke it up, and Batista all oh, mad. I thought you was my friend. How could you do this? And he made it for himself, you big, jacked up freak. Now, and then the ending was Punk. He gets thrown out of the ring by Batista, and then Batista flings Ray out of the ring onto CM Punk. But when he turns around, it's the dead man himself getting the Tombstone Power Driver and gets the one, two, three. But that's not it. After the match, Josh Matthews came in and had an interview with Ray and Batista. And Ray was saying that they were close. Even though they didn't win, but they still look like winners. Then they give the mic to Batista. Batista has shows a heel term. Thank you. It's about dang time. About damn time. He beats up Ray. And then he has Ray on the apron. Ray saying, you heard me. And calm down. And when you think he's going to calm down, he throws Ray into the crowd. But hard. You actually heard the impact. So it looks like Tisa's turn here. It looks like it's either setting up for their feud to end at Survivor Series. Or their feud to actually start at Survivor Series. But all in all, that was a pretty good match. And thank you, WD, for having Tisa go heal. Next match, the fourth match on the card, uh, was basically guys to settle the old score. Who was better? Who's better, Raw or SmackDown? Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Now, if anybody remembers correctly, the original Team SmackDown uh, was considered of a lot of newcomers and a lot of people that, in our eyes, shouldn't have gotten these bigger pushes so fast. Um, so, on SmackDown, this past SmackDown, team uh, co-captains Jericho and Kane decided to do the same thing that the DX team captains did on the past uh, Raw to see if they're worthy of the, of the uh, being on the team first of all it was not making up excuses for it but it was four on five Shad of, uh, of Crime Time was out with the flu so it had to be a four on five four and five match unfortunately you know the new team won and that's why we have the new team of that was that was on tonight so anyway the match starts off pretty much as a usual tag match you know uh, Shawn Michaels doing his thing you know as always a um, lot of frequent not a lot of frequent tags from team raw you know but uh, a lot of blind tags, you know what I'm saying? You know, in our eyes, we saw we saw some like con we all had our predictions of what was going to happen. Um, once again, you know, Triple H comes in later in the match, picks up the pace. Actually, spine busters, not th one, two, but three people on top of each other, and he gets booted, buzz kill by uh. Like choke slam by Kane, you know, buzz kill. Next, you know, everybody's coming in. Big Show hits spear on Kane. Next, you know, bottom line is, guys, the end of the match. Here was the end. Big Show is telling Kofi Kingston to get to the ropes. He's gonna fling them off. And what does we see happen? Betrayal. Betrayal. Big Schmo choke slams Kofi. Jericho pins Kofi. One, two, three. Even when Triple H saw it, he tried to get in. Got knocked out punch. You know, Big Show with his knockout punch. And uh, Team SmackDown wins. Gets, gets the trophy and everything. And, uh, Basically, in our eyes, the reason why uh, Team uh, SmackDown wins in our eyes is because this will give them a, a little more ratings <laughs> in some ways, a little more eye candy. Um, but we predicted this was going to happen. We predicted it was either going to be Big Show 
or Cody Rhodes. We knew it was going to be one of these two lame asses. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, Raw is in defeat. But uh, it was a pretty decent match. We're not going to lie about that. Um, but uh, after the match, um, we saw uh, a promo, little promo where uh, Kofi's heading into the back. And here comes Cody Rose coming up to him and saying, you lost the match for Team Raw. You're the weak link. And, Co and Kofi says the same thing like, dude, it was Big Show's betrayal. And a little fight. So it looks like a little feud is going to happen between Cody and Kofi. 